Hey there, YouTubers. It is Don coming back to you again with another uh, how-to video. And this time we're going to be talking about the True Cable Standard RJ45 Unshielded Connector. This particular one being for Category 5E cable. What separates this particular kind of plug, RJ45 plug connector, however you want to put it, I've heard it referred to as end even, uh, is that it does not allow the conductors to pass through to confirm sequence prior to putting it onto the cable. You'll basically cut the cable, put it in, and then it, it pushes on, and then you'll terminate it. It's as simple as that. Uh, some people do prefer these old school type uh, push on standard connectors. Again, I'm using multiple terms because people refer to them different ways. Just for clarity though, I'm gonna just call it a standard push on plug. How does that work? So anyway, let's go ahead and start. Okay, so we begin by removing the, uh, the cable jacket so we can put the plug on. So we're gonna strip off the cable jacket. I have the True Cable Cut and Strip tool here. First up is uh, whenever you're beginning to start uh, stripping these cables, you want to raise the blade all the way up. The reason for that is because what could end up happening is your blade could be lowered too much and you'll end up over, over basically over stripping and cutting into the cable. Then once you've got the cable in there, lower the blade back down onto the cable jacket and then turn a couple times. And there we go. Pop the jacket and it pops. The idea is to score this, not actually cut through it. If you cut through it, cut it back off and start over. The reason being you probably nicked a conductor in here. But I always recommend, especially with Cat5V cable, uh, that you take a good second look at your conductors to make sure you didn't accidentally nick any. And that was on Cat5V, that's very easy to do because the cable is not uh, perfectly round. And in this case, I did not nick any conductors by mistake. Next up is to flush cut off the ripcord. And then keeping that little piece of uh, cable jacket you took off, you want to use this piece of cable jacket to actually untwist your conductors for you. Once the conductors are uh, untwisted, the next step is to make sure that they're untwisted all the way down to the cable jacket. No further than that, just the cable jacket, and they are. And then you need to comb them out, or in other words, remove the kinks. Uh, a smooth metal shaft like this is a great tool to use. A screwdriver shaft will work too. I recommend a glove because as you're running the conductor between your thumb and the metal, it's going to abrade your thumb and cause you some pain. Uh, just a couple of passes is enough. Again, this is Cat5 E cable with 24 AWG conductors. So the conductors are a bit thinner, so only one or two passes is enough to get these guys straight. If this was uh, like Cat6 or 6A cable, it would probably require more passes. And that's it for straightening them out. The next step is to actually put them into the proper color sequence. I prefer to use the T568B sequence. Uh, you can use A. Just make sure that you're using uh, either A and A or B to B. In other words, the same at both ends. Uh, and so what I do is I go white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, and brown. Put them into a nice little multicolored stripe here so that it's easier to work with and all lined up. Then what I do is I usually will flip the cable because I like to work from top down. So white, orange at the top and then brown at the bottom. Again, white, orange, orange, white, green, blue, white, blue, green, white, brown, brown. And they are in the correct sequence. Now normally if you were working with a pass-through plug, you would flush cut here and you'd basically, you would choke up on it and flush cut here, and then you would push this, this whole conductor uh, stripe here uh, through into the plug and through, and then it would come out the nose, but that's not how these guys work. No, with these guys, it's just, it's gonna be a little bit different. In this case, if you look at the plug from the bottom side, now I don't recommend looking at it from the latch side, but from the smooth side or the bottom side, what you're working with here is you've got the back of the plug, You've got a strain latch, which is designed to uh, bite into the cable jacket to hold it. And then 
you've got a ledge and that ledge stops here and that's where you want the cable jacket to end up so using the cable jacket as a reference point along with that ledge you're going to move your other finger here to where it's even with the very end of the plug and that's right about it right there then flush cut And again, working from the bottom side of the plug, and it would be white orange at the top here, and then brown down here. Uh, this is the point where things can get a little bit hairy on you because you have to kind of take your fingers off the conductors in order to push them in so they can fly around on you and get out of sequence. However, I think I'm getting lucky today. I am. So I pushed the cable jacket all the way as far up as it would go, and it's stopping after that ledge and the conductors have been pushed all the way to the very end of the plastic here I can see the copper and then working from the top down here I'm seeing that it the, the sequence is white orange orange white green blue white blue green white brown brown hey I got lucky the next up is simply terminating so you unlock your tool and you put it in like this just light pressure is enough you don't have to force it start closing it you can take your hand off Bring it all the way down, take it out, lock your tool, and then check your work. As you can see, the strain latch here has been engaged and it's actually uh, divoting the uh, cable jacket. It's holding it in there so I can't pull out. All the golden contacts are down and you've got a good termination. And the main thing is, is that that cable jacket is stopped here at that ledge and from here to the end of the plug is one half inch, which is the specification for uh, category cable, whether it's Cat 5V or Cat 8, uh, the, the maximum amount of untwist is one half inch, and these standard style plugs only allow you to achieve specification. Pass-through plugs allow you to achieve uh, tighter than, than uh, spec type terminations by getting the cable jacket much farther up. But the standard style plugs, they, they restrict you to standard terminations. So uh, if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Happy to, uh, to certainly answer anything that you may have. If you have some, uh, some comments uh, uh, you know, or tips or suggestions or techniques that you like to use, leave your experiences. I like to hear everything. Uh, give a thumbs up or a thumbs down as you see fit. And you have a great day and happy networking.